Let's talk about them. So hard drives are also known as HDD or a hard disk drive. So these here have actually been around since 1956. And with this, we can say the technology behind hard drives or HDDs have actually peaked or been perfected. A hard drive is actually made up of movable parts and among these movable parts is actually an arm which is used to read or write from a disc or a magnetic platter. So this magnetic platter is actually spin and this is what causes the moving parts in a hard drive. Let's move on to SSDs. SSD actually stands for solid state drive and we also have two types of SSDs. We have the NVMe SSD and we also have the SATA or SATA SSD. But I currently have an NVMe SSD here so we're actually going to talk more about NVMe's and we are going to leave the SATA for another time. So NVMe basically stands for non-volatile memory express and the difference between the NVMe and the SATA SSD is just this. So NVMe actually uses the PCIe interface and all this means is that NVMe SSDs actually connect directly to the motherboard and this actually comes with a lot of advantages and benefits when it comes to NVMe. So the first NVMe was actually released by Intel and this actually occurred in the year 2013. So looking at the timeline between HDDs and SSDs, we can quickly tell SSDs are relatively new, especially when we are talking about the NVMe's. And this is relatively a new technology when it comes to storage. Enough of the history, let's talk about why you should or should not get either of these. And I'm going to break it down into five simple categories. So first off, we are going to talk about speed, durability, the storage capacity or storage limit, cost, and lastly, we are going to talk about the best use case for either of these. Let's talk about it. Moving on with the HDD, they actually have a read and write speed of about 80 megabytes to about 150 megabytes per second. So this is relatively slow in 2024, and there's actually a very good reason for that. See, as I said earlier, HDDs are actually made up of moving parts. So basically for HDDs to be faster, these moving parts also have to move faster. So basically the faster the disk spin, the more faster the HDD is able to read or write or transfer files and folders and things like that. Okay, so now let's move on to the NVMe SSD when it comes to speed. So NVMe's actually do not have any moving parts and this actually benefits them in a lot of ways. Firstly, is actually speed. So NVMe's actually have a read and write speed or transfer speed of about 2,000 to about 7,000 megabytes per second. That is significantly larger as compared to HDDs. And as I said, this is because they have no moving parts and this is a clear win for the NVMe's. So let's start off with HDDs. And as I said earlier, as a result of the moving parts in an HDD, HDDs are not really that durable. So as you can clearly see on this HDD here, on the product sticker here, we can clearly see the fragile sign here. And this actually tells you that HDDs cannot really survive falls or any form of physical or mechanical stress. They are not that strong and they wouldn't even survive a single fall. And this is as a result of the moving parts that are found in HDDs. So if something goes wrong with your HDD, this clearly indicates that a moving part has actually stopped moving and this is what is going to cause your HDD to go out of service or stop working. Still on durability, as a result of HDDs having a moving part, they actually tend to make quite some noise. It's not that much, but it's noticeable. So I actually have this external HDD here, and let's take a listen to some of the noise it actually makes when I'm using it. NVMe SSDs, when it comes to durability. As we all know, NVMe's actually have no moving parts, so they tend to be more durable as compared to HDDs. So as a result, they can actually survive some physical falls or physical stress without having any substantial effect on the operation of the SSD itself. As we can clearly see, NVMe's are actually smaller and more compact and take less space in the system. As HDDs have moving parts, they actually have an issue with noise. NVMe's actually trading this noise for heat. NVMe's tend to produce a lot of heat, especially when they are under a full load. And as a result of this, the system actually has to make up by creating some form of heat sink or heat dissipation system to get the heat out of NVMe. So as you can clearly see in this laptop of mine, we actually have this metal here, which actually draws heat away from this NVMe SSD here. 
And most desktops or mana boards which support NVMEs always have a heatsink to combat that issue. So it seems NVMEs is actually winning when it comes to speed and durability, but this is not a full story. Stick around to the end so you get everything. So capacity is actually a clear win for HDD here. And let me explain. So HDDs actually have a maximum capacity of about 32 terabytes, and this is huge and more than enough for anybody at all. But NVMe SSDs actually have a capacity limit of about four terabytes, and you actually get more storage when it comes to NVMe. You're actually supposed to spend more on a peripheral to be able to use multiple SSDs on a single motherboard or a single system. And that actually becomes more ridiculous when it comes to price. And we're going to talk about price later. So you can get yourself a 20 terabyte HDD, and that would be more than enough for a single system. And this is a clear win for HDD. So capacity is a no brainer. Get yourself an HDD. And let's talk about the next thing, price. So now let me give you some actual numbers when it comes to price. So the Samsung 980 Pro PCIe Gen 4, two terabytes on Amazon, is actually going for 120 US dollars. On the other hand, the Seagate two terabyte HDD is going for only $65 for the same storage capacity. And it even gets better. So the higher you go in terms of storage on HDDs, the less expensive or the cheaper they actually get. And don't forget SSDs or NVMEs are actually capped, mostly capped at four terabytes. So at that four terabytes maximum capacity, you can't actually go any further. But with HDD, it actually gets less expensive or cheaper the higher you go. And this is a huge win for HDD. The money you spend is actually a very, very important factor here. Are you going to go with more storage for a slower speed HDD? Or are you going to go with a faster with less storage capacity for the NVMEs? Let's talk about the best use case scenario for these two drive types here. So yes, they are different. They both have their own pros and cons. And this actually means they work best in certain use case scenarios than others. So let's start off with how I personally use these in my daily life or daily activities as a content creator. So first off, if you usually work on heavy workloads and you really need that read and write or transfer speeds, SSDs or NVMEs are actually the right way and best way to go. So for works like video editing, straight, no brainer, go for an NVMe SSD. It's faster and it's just going to make your workflow more easier and smoother. But because NVMEs are actually capped when it comes to storage capacity, they are not really good when it comes to storing huge or large files. So when it comes to storing huge workloads or large files, HDDs are the best for that. So in conclusion, I wouldn't suggest you get either of these. I suggest you get the two of them because they actually work hand in hand and they are very good in specific use case scenarios. So fast forward to 2024, PC case manufacturers still dedicate space or a particular section in a pc case for hard drives and as we all know motherboards as usual always have a slot for nvme or ssds hdds have been around longer and this form of technology has actually been baked into our everyday lives or everyday systems so i'd suggest you can simply get yourself a two terabyte nvme ssd for your workflows and running through your works and playing games and all those things but you also can also get yourself a relatively cheaper but more capacity packed hdd for storing your files, your games, your movies, and things like that. These two technologies here, though they might be different, but they still work hand in hand. This is my review and this is my thoughts about the NVMe SSD and HDD. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.